Oh, 안녕하세요. 내 이름은 빨리입니다. Hi, my name is Quickly. What's that? A story, you ask. Well, I have just the one. It's a story that my mother, my umma, used to tell me when I was younger. And shorter, if you can believe that. The title is called Gundoki wa Undoki. I'd really like to tell this tale in Korean, the native language, but、um, my Korean is enough to scratch, so you'll just have to bear with、uh, my English translation. Once upon a time, in a rural village, there lived a kind woodcutter. However, this kind woodcutter was poor. He worked hard every day. One day, the woodcutter went to the mountain to cut some wood. He cut the wood next to a pond. Suddenly, he accidentally dropped his iron axe into the pond. The woodcutter needed the iron axe in order to make a living. Even though he looked carefully in the pond, he couldn't find the iron axe. So the woodcutter was very sad. He sat next to the pond and wept. <laughs> Then a mountain spirit appeared from the pond. The woodcutter was surprised. Why are you sad? the ancient spirit asked the woodcutter. I accidentally dropped my axe into the pond, the woodcutter said to the mountain spirit. The mountain spirit thought for a moment, and then the mountain spirit returned to the pond. After a moment, the mountain spirit returned with a gold axe and a silver axe. Which one is your axe? the mountain spirit asked. Neither. My axe is an iron axe, the honest woodcutter replied. The mountain spirit praised the honesty of the woodcutter and gave him the gold, silver, and iron axe. The woodcutter bowed many times to the mountain spirit in gratitude, and then he returned home. The news spread in the village. A greedy woodcutter heard the news. The greedy man went to the honest woodcutter's house. Where did you find the gold axe? the greedy man asked. The mountain spirit who lives in the mountain pond gave it to me. So the next day, the greedy man went to the pond in the mountain. Like the honest woodcutter, the greedy man dropped an iron axe into the pond. The greedy man sat by the pond and pretended to cry. The mountain spirit appeared and the greedy man spoke right away. I dropped my axe into the pond. The mountain spirit went into the pond. After a moment, the mountain spirit returned with a gold axe and a silver axe. Is one of these your axe? the mountain spirit asked. Yes, my axe is the gold axe, and I dropped my silver axe too, the greedy man lied in reply. The mountain spirit was angry and dropped the gold and silver axes into the pond. You are a person who lies, so you will not receive an axe. The mountain spirit returned to the pond. And did not appear again. So the greedy man went home empty handed. The end. Good. That was Kundoki wa Undoki, or The Gold Axe and the Silver Axe. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for listening. Goodbye. Annyeong. Well, let's see if that was any good. Oh, s h I gotta put signs up. Okay, hold on. Oh, my nose is running. I forgot to take my allergy meds today. Darn, dilly darn.